Hello everybody and welcome to Body Smart. My name is Dr. Cameron Garber and we are continuing on with the Keeping Runners on the Road series. So today is going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk a little bit more on the nerdy side, a little bit more on the biomechanics side. So getting fairly technical about running injuries and what we can do about them. So today I want to talk about some of the main biomechanical risk factors for injury. So some of the things that we see in runners that cause some of these injuries. And so let's let's take a look at some of these so we remember that the knee is the most injured part of the body and so let's think about that for a sec um the knee when running is is what bears the brunt of most of our running injuries but a lot of the time the knee is such a simple joint that that's actually not where the problem is is at the knee it's usually upstream or downstream and so let's talk about that a little bit further here's what we're going to do we're going to take a look at how the knees work and how the hips and ankle play into that. So I'm going to rearrange the camera a little bit and let you uh, see um, my knees and ankles in motion a little bit. All right, so here we go. We're going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about hips and knees um, and, and ankles and everything and talk about how that's going to affect um, the way you run. So the first thing we're going to look at is hip internal rotation and hip adduction. So what happens is I'm running along, um, I'm planting on one foot, and my body weight's here on this other side, and so it's gonna wanna rotate me around. But we don't walk like that or run like that, and so what we do instead to adapt is actually my knee oftentimes, if my glutes are too weak to control how my knee functions, um, my knee will often internally rotate in it's going to put a lot more tension on the IT band, a lot more pressure through my knee, and it's going to actually, if you can see, it makes my arch collapse as well when my hip internally rotates in like that. And that's a, a sign of weak glute muscles. So I step and my knee comes in, but you'll also notice that I get hip adduction, so hip adduction and internal rotation. And that's really hard on the knee. And so if I'm running along and doing that every time with that hip internal rotation and adduction, that's really, really hard on the knee and on the feet. So long term, that causes a ton of problems. And so that can, that can be a problem. But we can also get that from the ground up um, where we have too much um, play in our foot and we get a lot of foot over pronation. And so that can cause a lot of those problems as well. Again, so rather than it being a weak hip problem, if my, if my foot collapses in too much, it's going to cause that same thing. And so we can talk about that through the arch, that our arch collapses, or in the rear foot, and I actually have a lot of that, that the back of my foot, as I contact the ground, comes out too much. So, um, so that my, my foot and ankle move in, but my heel kind of moves out. And so um, that, that's really common, especially with people like me that are super flat footed. Um, the key is that you have to transition to running really, really slowly. Make sure that your feet, ankles, um, and, and all of the muscles in your calves um, and, and around your shins, that those muscles, so your posterior tibialis muscle, anterior tib, gastroc, all those muscles in the lower legs stay strong enough to support you well if you've got those problems. Um, but you can strengthen enough to where you don't necessarily need orthotics or other things like that. Um, but you just have to break into it slowly. So you really want to look at your mechanics and see where you're at and what you need to do to make sure that you avoid injury and, and can um, avoid pr pain and problems. One of the biggest things you can do though is strengthen those hips, strengthen the glutes. That's going to prevent a lot of the upstream stuff from happening, um, like that hip internal rotation, hip adduction. So those are some of the main mechanical things that we see wrong with runners. The other one um, that I haven't really addressed is increased tibial shock, which sounds crazy, but it's essentially landing on a leg that's too straight. Um, and, and really impacting the ground hard and putting a lot of force and repetitive trauma um, through the tibia. And so what we see there is as we're running along, a lot of the time if we're landing on a leg that's too straight, we're getting either a little bit of knee hyperextension 
Um, or we're, if we're landing on a leg that's too straight, we're getting a lot of shock in through our tibia. Um, so in through this bone here, we're getting too much impact and that's gonna hurt our knees um, and, and cause a lot more wear and tear there. So we wanna make sure that when we land on our foot that we're not landing um, on a knee that is too straight. And so um, we'll talk about that in some later videos about how to increase um, uh, stride cadence and some other things like that so that we can decrease some of those tibial loads um, and it, decrease how much shock we're getting through that tibia. So there's, there's that and a couple other form things that we can do to help decrease that. But those are some of the most common forms of injury there. So excited to bring that to you today. Um, excited to continue on with the Keeping Runners on the Road series. Let me know if you have any questions about that, um, about some of these injuries. And if that sounds like a problem you have, that your knees coming across and rotating in too much, um, if your knees touch while you run, things like that, that's usually not a good sign um, and maybe a reason why you have foot, knee, or hip problems. And so let us know um, if that's a problem for you. Go ahead and drop that down in the comments below and we can uh, get you some more information about how you can get some help for that. Um, if you've got any other questions though, feel free to drop those in the comments below as well. Um, and let us know if you want to follow the rest of these uh, videos and we'll make sure to get you tagged. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining the Body Smart uh, Keeping Runners on the Road series. Thanks.